Hello, do you ever need to import a custom level data to TBC? This video will show you how to import a custom CSV level data. We will import a level file into a project that already contains GNSS data. From the Home tab, click the down arrow under the Import icon to open Import Format Editor. The Import Format Editor includes all of the import definitions defined for your project, including predefined definitions and any definitions you have created. Click the Test button to display the two view panes, Import Preview and File View. Then click the Browse button, locate your CSV file, and click Open. TBC marks unreadable fields with red blocks because it doesn't have the correct importer yet. We will analyze the layout of the records and create a proper import definition for it. Create a new definition. Tap Next. Since we're working with a CSV file, we should choose the limited type. Tap Next. In the delimiter drop down list, select comma to ensure fields will be separated by commas. In the Store Data As drop-down list, select Level Data. This ensures that only level data type fields are available to add to the definition. In the default File Extension field, enter CSV. In this CSV file, there is a header row for the field labels. To skip this row, type in 1 in the Number of Header Lines to Skip box. In the Coordinate Quality drop-down list, select Control. Points with a benchmark elevation will be imported with Control Quality. Leave other options alone, then tap Next. Now we can add field definitions to help TBC interpret the level record. Note that only level data type fields are listed here. The first field should be point ID. The second field is to mark the status of the measurement. To review what code is used for enabled and disabled records, you may click the down arrow next to the Read File button to specify how many records to display in the dialog window. By going through the file, we can now type in Y for enabled records and N for disabled records. The third field is measurement. This is the height reading observed in the field. If no unit is specified, the project unit will be used. In this case, it will be meters. Choose the correct unit and multiply if needed. Don't forget to apply to all. Measurement code or measurement type defines whether an observation is a backsight, a foresight, or a sight shot. 
review the file and type in the corresponding codes. Elevation refers to the benchmark elevation. Choose the correct unit as well. Horizontal distance is treated the same way. The description field sometimes contains field note. If you don't need to keep that info, you may choose skip field instead. Arrow per kilometer and arrow per turn are related to the instrument standard arrows. Run ID and run start end code will help separating runs. In this file, the start code is ST and the end code is END. From the import preview, all the red blocks are gone, meaning that all the records can be imported properly now. Click Import and save the definition for future uses. Three points already exist in the project. Merge them or rename these points on import. The same level editor window opens for merging or splitting runs, renaming points, or performing adjustments. To learn more about this editor, Click the banner now to check out our video. The import is now complete, and we can check the level observations in TBC. A red flag on point filter appears, telling us the vertical coordinate computation exceeds the tolerance. To investigate, right-click on this point from Project Explorer, choose Point Derivation Report. The final elevation of this point is calculated from the level data, and it's about 5 centimeters different from the calculation by other GNSS data. Considering level data has higher quality here, it is okay to ignore the warning for now. Now a new level data importer is prepared, you can drag and drop similar files to TBC directly next time. If you'd like to share this importer with colleagues, you can find the file from this folder. The TBC version number may not be the same. Copy and paste the CIMP file to the same folder on the destination computer and it will become available in the import format editor. This concludes the workflow. Thank you for watching. See you next time.